Now, we need to count back in hundreds. So first, we have 100,640, 100,540, and 100,440. So what are the next seven numbers in this sequence? Well, if we show them, we can see that counting back in hundreds is just like counting back in ones, but with our tens and ones digits staying the same. So we know that if we're counting back in ones, the number before 1000 is 999. And that means if we're counting back in hundreds, the number before 100,040 is 99,940. Now we have 244,444, 244,344, 244,244. If we show the next numbers in this sequence, again we can see that what we're really doing is counting back in ones, but then leaving the tens and ones digits the same. So let's show place value counters to represent our counting. For this first question, we started with 100,640. So we can show 100,000 counter, no 10,000 counters, no 1,000 counters, 600s, 4 tens, and no 1s. We were counting back in hundreds, so we can take away one of our 100 counters each time. But now, because we're counting back in hundreds, we need to exchange our 100,000 counter for 10 10,000 counters. Then we need to exchange one of our 10,000 counters for 10,000 counters. And now we can exchange one of our 1,000 counters for 10 hundreds. So now we can keep on counting back until we get to 99,740. So that's nine ten thousands, nine thousands, seven hundreds, and four tens. Then we started with two hundred and forty four thousand four hundred and forty four. So that's two hundred thousands, four ten thousands, four thousands, four hundreds, four tens, and four ones. We were counting back in hundreds, so we can take away a hundred counter each time. But now, to get more hundred counters, we need to exchange one of our thousands for ten hundreds. So now we can keep on counting back until we get to 243,544. So that's two hundred thousands, four ten thousands, three thousands, because we had to exchange one of them, five hundreds, four tens, and four ones.